Hello friends, in the last lessons we took a simple circuit with one resistor. In this lesson we shall learn how to connect resistors in a series connection. Previously we took a simple circuit, a battery connected to a small motor with a small fan through a switch. When the switch is turned on, the electric current flows and the fan rotates. You will see the fan is rotating really fast. Here resistance of wire is negligible and only resistance offered is by the motor of the fan. So here V is equal to 3 volts to 1.5 cells connected in series. Say R equal to 60 ohms of the motor. So we can use Ohm's law V equal to IR to calculate the current flowing through the circuit. So we can say I is equal to V by R which is equal to 3 by 60, 3 is the potential difference and 60 is the resistance and that comes out to be 0 0.05 amps or 50 milliamps. So 0 0.05 into 1000 is equal to 50 milliamp of current is flowing through the circuit. Now let us say we add another motor in the series connection like this. So one end of the first motor that has the fan goes to another motor and then back to the battery through the switch. Now we turn on the switch. Notice the fan is rotating little slow compared to the simple circuit we saw earlier. Why? Let us find out. This circuit diagram looks like this. We have a battery connected to the first motor shown as resistance connected to second motor in series shown as resistance and then through the switch back to the battery. Each motor or load offers some resistance in the path of the electrical circuit. So in this case, we say resistance are connected in series. So each resistor has a resistance value say R1 and R2. If we measure current using A meter, we will find that same current I flows through all the resistors. If we measure potential difference using voltmeter across both the resistances, we may find that the value of potential difference is different. But the sum of all the potential difference across the different resistances is equal to potential difference of the whole circuit that is voltage of the main power source. So we will find V1 plus V2 is equal to V. So V1 is the potential difference across resistor R1, V2 is the potential difference across resistor R2, their sum is equal to the potential difference across the battery which is V. But V1 equal to IR1 where I is the current flowing through the resistor 1, same way V2 is equal to IR2 where same current I is flowing through resistor 2. So say the total resistance of the circuit for the entire circuit is R. So according to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR for the whole circuit. We put all the values of different potential differences in the equation. V equal to V1 plus V2. We get instead of V, we put IR. For V1, we put IR1 and for V2, we put IR2. So we get IR equal to IR1 plus IR2. I is the common factor, we divide it on both sides to remove it. So we get R is equal to R1 plus R2. So if several resistors or load are added in a circuit in series, the total resistance of the circuit is equal to the sum of each resistance. That is total resistance of the circuit R is equal to R1 plus R2. And note the total resistance in the circuit is more than the individual resistance of each resistor because it is sum. Same way total potential difference across the battery V is equal to V1 plus V2 that is sum of potential difference seen across each resistor whereas same current I flows through the entire circuit. Now why did the fan slow down when another motor was added in series in the circuit? Let us find out. Here the resistance of wire is negligible and only resistance offered is by the motor of the fan. So 
here v is equal to 3 volts say r1 is equal to 60 ohms and the new motor has resistance r2 which is equal to 100 ohms so total resistance in the circuit r is equal to r1 plus r2 which is equal to 60 plus 100 that is equal to 160 ohms so that is the total resistance in the circuit now we can use the ohms law v equal to ir to calculate the current flowing through the fan so i is equal to v by r which is equal to 3 by 160 which is equal to 0 0.01875 amperes to get in milliamp we multiply by 1000 so we get 18.75 milliamp of current is flowing through the circuit so as you add more and more resistors in the series path the equivalent resistance of the total circuit increases because it is a sum of all the resistors in the series and the current reduces in the circuit assuming voltage is same because i is equal to v by r so if r increases i decreases assuming v is constant one important thing to note when you have such a circuit if current stops flowing through any one of them then it stops in all of them because circuit becomes open so like in old electric lighting used in marriages you might have seen if one bulb goes bad then the entire strip having small small bulbs stops working because all the bulbs were connected in series one bulb stops working means current stops in the entire circuit and then the electrician tries to find which bulb is faulty and replace it or remove it from the circuit but series circuit is useful also like if you want to turn on all the lights of a false ceiling with one button so we use series circuit there that's all in this lesson bye bye